All right, guys, as requested, I'm going to review a video called Full Day of Eating to Build Muscle by Remington James. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, what we're gonna do is a full day of eating like usual, except normally I'm showing you guys how to eat if you wanna lose weight, right? Be aesthetic, get that shredded six pack. But in order for us to lose the weight and look good, you gotta build the muscle up first. So in this video, I'm gonna go meal by meal, show you exactly what I would be eating. If I was in a bulking phase, we're gonna make it delicious, we're gonna make it high in protein, and most importantly, we're gonna make it fun. All right, guys, we got a lot to go over. I'm gonna try to make this quicker than Leonardo DiCaprio swiping left on a teenager. We're gonna move fast. <laughs> first thing I wanna cover is supplementation, often overlooked and all right, he's funny. <laughs> Underappreciated in my opinion. These are supplements I take every single day. I'll give you some reasons why I take them, add stuff in, don't take them at all, doesn't matter to me. I'm just giving you guys the information. So first thing I do every single day is two scoops of a green powder first thing in the morning. I do not like to eat a lot of veggies. I never have, never will. I don't order... No human being likes sweet vegetables. They are man-made, toxic. That's why they taste horrible. Taking a supplement is stupid because you're really just going against your senses, seeing as your senses are telling you not to eat them anyway. Why then take a supplement to get something inside of you, which you don't actually want to be inside of you? Lettuce on my burgers, I'm just not gonna do it. But to make sure the nutritional bases are covered, I really get the world's best multivitamin. Two scoops of this a day is great. I it can't even be a multivitamin. Vegetables essentially only have a few minerals and one vitamin, vitamin C. <laughs> yes, there's some trace amounts of B vitamins, but it's so few that it's really negligible. And you're getting tons of toxins, anti-nutrients, uh, fiber, which is indigestible. I find this on Amazon, 90 serving container, pretty cheap, lasts me for a while. Next up, good old-fashioned cream. It's cheap because it's garbage. Creatine, monohydrate. I'm taking eight of these capsules a day. Ends up being like six grams of creatine. It's most trusted supplement in all of bodybuilding with the least amount of side effects. You don't get a ton of benefit, but those tiny increases over time really add up. So I recommend creatine. Next up. Creatine you can also naturally simply get by eating raw meat. Up, the feel good drug. We got good old fashioned vitamin D3, responsible for mood, sleep, hormone balance, tons of stuff here. I don't care who you are. Even if you're not trying to be healthy, you should be taking this because it's going to make your life better. I, I don't know what the supposed source of this D3 is in this supplement, but 99% of Vitamin D supplements are fake. They are made from irradiated vegetable oils, which are not actual vitamin D free, because that would be an animal hormone. Two of these a day, about 10,000 I use. Next up, I'm also doing two scoops of a psyllium husk fiber supplement a day. Keeps things moving, keeps my stomach full. That's really funny. Fiber is a waste product. You're actually paying money for that. That's really funny. Ensures I'm getting in enough fiber while I'm eating all this dang protein. Swear by this as well. And then finally, I am taking organic grass-fed beef liver capsules. Six of these a day, about 4,500 milligrams. And honestly, I can't even tell you exactly what this is doing. Liver King kind of sold me on it, to be honest. There's a lot of proven benefits. All I know is that I'm sleeping good, feeling good, sex drops through the roof, and my pheromones being let off. I have all the neighborhood dogs going I don't know what he's getting from the supplement, but the liver is essentially the healthiest food you could possibly eat. Of course, it will make you feel better. Crazy. So it's doing something. But those are the only supplements I take. I take them first thing every single morning. I knock them out. And once I take those, I move on to breakfast. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Oh, 54 grams of an instant pancake mix. Add that right in. Then we need 62 grams of vanilla based whey protein powder. Followed up by 184 grams of liquid egg beaters. And then finally, 4 grams of baking powder. Then we'll just go in, stir everything together. And once we got it smooth like this, we'll take some lilies, no sugar added, dark chocolate. Absolute slave peasant food. It really doesn't get any worse. Bodybuilders are typically people who get bullied in school. They were really insecure throughout their whole life, and eventually in their late teens, they start working out to try to cope with the trauma. Chocolate baking chips, and weigh out 56 grams in our bowl. Then we'll just go ahead and fold these in. Then once our batter's mixed up, we're just gonna take some big spoonfuls, put them on a Belgian waffle maker, make sure we get full coverage. And once it's full, we'll just close it, wait a few minutes, this will be done, and we'll rinse repeat until all our batter's used up. Don't you ever look at the garbage that you're eating? You're eating grain sludge mixed with some powders and you bake that like an absolute slave. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. And uh, he tries to make his meals anabolic. He called them anabolic pancakes. You don't want to eat anything that in any way is anabolic because anabolism simply means that uh, you're aging. It simply activates your metabolism, which is what you don't want. You should really try to make your meals as anti-anabolic, whatever, I don't know what to call them, as possible. Yeah, tons of syrup, pump up the insulin, more growth hormones, and of course bodybuilders are all about growth hormones. And what does a growth hormone do? It ages you. That's the purpose. Growth? Aging. You're stupid. 
All right, folks, here we go. Breakfast is served. We got four of these massive chocolate chip waffles. If you look close, you can see some of the chocolate chips in there. This is quite literally a delicacy. Let me give myself a bite. And keep in mind, too, when you're trying to build muscle, you're gonna be eating a lot of food. So some of these meals you might be full already for from the day before, but if you wanna grow, you you're quite literally a slave by every definition. You're just an absolute tool and slave. You gotta force yourself through it. Kinda like going on a bad Tinder date where you got catfished. You already got dressed up, you already paid for dinner, might as well eat. Let's get in here, get a nice chocolate chippy bite. Ooh, look at that. Three, two, one, let's go. A delicious meal, gonna keep you full for a while, but after this we're gonna have to eat again shortly if we're trying to grow. So let me finish this and I'll show you what we're yeah, exactly. Grow. We're gonna do for the next meal. Come on, come here, bud. Come here. <laughs> That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right, guys. For meal two. Of course, he has a little dog instead of children. I assume. I don't know who this guy is. Maybe he has children, but. Doesn't seem like it. We're gonna do something quick that's gonna get us some protein and taste amazing like a dessert. I need some Anna butter. And we got this Cinnamon Toast Crunch Anna bar flavor. Absolutely love this one. Coated in that white chocolate, Cinnamon Toast Crunch inside. We'll place it in the middle. Then I'm gonna take 34 grams of our Anna butter and spread this right on top. This is also the Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor with white chocolate, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This has to be a joke. This guy is going to be insanely sick. The heart attack is knocking on the door already. Pieces in it, so these two complement each other perfectly. Now we're just gonna pop it in the microwave. <laughs> we'll officially have a gourmet high protein dessert. Come on. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That was quick, easy, meal two. Now, why I love this is because after you microwave it, it warms up and melts that white chocolate on the antibar. When you cover it in the antibutter, it really is gourmet. I mean, I'm telling you. Let me get in here, get a bite. There she is, folks. Three, two, one, let's get it. Look at the guy's forehead wrinkles. He's younger than me and really he looks like he could be my father. Maybe that's why he's wearing the cap to hide the wrinkles? They're pretty insane. Once again, we're trying to build muscle, right? You gotta look at it in the same way if you wanted to build a new addition onto your house. You could walk over with hammers and start banging away, but unless you have the raw materials, you literally can't build anything. That's the same thing with food. So in order to grow, you gotta eat. What raw materials are you referring to? You're eating anything but raw materials. Yeah, if you really want to build muscle for whatever reason, then you should be eating what your muscle are made out of raw meat it isn't this chocolate sod sugar i don't even know what this is this isn't even food this is literally what the government created for the absolute stupidest slaves on this earth <laughs> Doesn't mean we start having a free-for-all with pizza and ice cream, because you'll get fat that way. All right, guys, next meal we're going to be making is some bodybuilding tuna melts. Now, if you don't like tuna, you can easily swap the tuna for canned chicken breast, and we'll be... This guy eats grains for every freaking meal, man. Bread is the worst possible food you can eat. There's nothing worse than bread. Why on earth are you eating four slices? Four slices of white bread. Absolute tool. Insulin through the roof. Absolute aging. Jesus, man. Tuna, okay, but that's probably some canned tuna full of uh, toxic heavy metals. Fat-free cheese. Why fat-free? Oh, yeah, of course, because you're trying to lose fat, but how are you going to make the hormones that you need? Oh, well, probably some other way, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Fat-free Miracle Whip. Uh, fat-free again. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. It's incredibly unhealthy to eat uh, fat-free diets. Uh, Obviously, everybody craves animal fat, but bodybuilders crave animal fat uh, like crazy. Why obsess over the way you look like instead of your own health? Probably because he has nothing to live for. That explains it. He has a little dog. He has no family, no children. Why not die in your 40s, probably late 30s? Why not? Yeah, of course. Just fine. This is great because it's portable. We can whip it up quick. And once again, we'll be eating good and hitting our goals at the exact same time. I'm gonna start with some zero calorie butter spray. I wanna hit each of our four pieces of plain white bread with it. Then we'll just go ahead and flip each piece over. And I'm gonna take four slices of fat-free American cheese. And I'm gonna lay one down on each slice of bread. Each slice of this cheese has a whopping five grams of protein. I buy all of my cheese like this at Walmart. But if you find it somewhere else, cause I- Do these people actually believe that the cheese says five grams of protein it probably has 1.5 at most don't you understand that it's processed and that when you heat up cheese most of the protein is destroyed and the protein comes from casein which is largely indigestible 
Oh. I have it. Comment it down below. Then we'll grab a small bowl. Then we'll weigh out 74 grams of our tuna down inside. Then we need 48 grams of light miracle whip or mayo. Followed up by 30 grams of sweet pickle relish. Then we'll add 10 grams of Dijon mustard. We'll do a gram of parsley flakes. And then finally a little kosher salt and a little black pepper. Then we'll just take our spoon and mix everything together. Parsley makes you infertile, but I guess that's irrelevant for you. Together until it's thoroughly combined. Once we got it mixed up and it looks like tuna salad, all we'll do is spread our mixture on two of our slices of bread. Ooh. Once we got it spread, we'll go ahead and put our sandwiches together. That looks almost as disgusting as all the vegan meals. Together, boom. Then I'm just gonna place these in the skillet and we're gonna cook these like a grilled cheese. Man, that pan is full of carcinogens and toxic heavy metals, Jesus. We have it on low medium heat. Now let these cook for roughly three to four minutes each side. That way the middle gets warmed up, it gets all gooey, the cheese melts, and that bread gets crispy. Let me do this and we'll be back. More carcinogens formed on the bread. Alright guys, meal three is officially ready to go. We got our anabolic bodybuilding tuna melts. These are essentially just a grilled cheese sandwich with tuna salad in the middle. Quick, easy, anabolic, tastes amazing. Just get a load of that, man. Ooh -wee, nice and toasted. You got the stuff peeking out the sides. As we want. He's so obsessed with the word anabolic, not realizing that it means aging, which means death. Anabolic equals sooner death. You're stupid. <laughs> Come on, baby. Three, two, one. Let's get it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They're a little messy, but boy, do they get the... All right, what do we have there? It's grains, which are just anti-nutrient sugar and fiber. Literally, that's it. No micronutrients to speak of. And then tuna, which is cooked to the point where really there's no protein left. The cheese obviously also had nothing. It's really just a very high carb, which is sugar. Carbohydrates are sugar. So he's eating a very high amount of sugar, full of anti-nutrients, pesticides, and carcinogens. Bravo, you absolute freaking moron. Job done. Now the third meal for two of these bodybuilding tuna mouths, what we get is only 426 calories with two grams of fat, 48 grams of protein, 54 grams of carbs with six grams of fiber. Now, obviously those macros are great. At this point in the day, we're at about 2000 calories. Typically for me, after I eat a big breakfast, like that big stack of waffles. This guy needs to look up the biological value of foods because he's not at all getting those amounts of carbs, fat, and uh, protein out of it. Just not the amount of calories even when it comes to macronutrients. So it's gonna be hard to try to get that much food in at every single meal or I'm gonna be slowed down and feel kind of lethargic all day. So usually my first meal is really big and my last meal is really big. All the ones in the middle, whether they're snacks or quick little meals like this, tend to be a little smaller so I can keep moving and I don't get slowed down. And another thing, if you wanna be able to whip up recipes just like this with the chocolate chip waffles or the ones we're gonna make later on in this video, the best cookbook on the internet, the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, you can grab a copy at the first link in my description box. Not only do we have every recipe from the channel in this book, every time I drop a new video with a new recipe, this yeah, if you want to look incredibly old and die early, then an anabolic diet is perfect. But uh, if you want to be happy, healthy, and uh, see your children grow up, which he doesn't have, then this is the worst possible thing you can do. Why is he working out? Why does he want to look like that? Would this guy be working out if he was the last guy left on earth? Think about it. Would he go to the gym? Would he try to do any of this stuff? His life would be completely different. This tool is working out for you. He wants your attention. He's insecure. He wants to get some uh, validation from other males. Oh my God. You are everything that's wrong with men nowadays. You're not even a man. <laughs> it's updated for free, over 300 pages. And I know if you follow us in here, you will see results no matter what. <laughs> Let's go ahead and weigh out 84 grams in a bowl and perfect. I really gotta say this is uh, one of the worst uh, diets that I've ever reviewed. It really doesn't get much worse than this, uh, much more unhealthy. Check it out folks, we got ourselves the perfect little lady. It's again just incredibly much sugar, anti-nutrients and some fiber. <laughs> Afternoon snack. I love chips, I do. Flamin' Hot Cheetos especially. Once I discovered they had these baked ones, you guys know for the last few years these have been a staple in my diet. Now I understand there's not a lot of protein in this meal, right? But when you're eating out of the anabolic cookbook and doing these recipes, we're gonna hit our protein essentially no matter what. So having a meal- You're really not eating a lot of protein throughout the day at all. You're really just eating sugar for the most part. I can't stop looking at those forehead wrinkles. I want to see him without the hat. Final meal is a game changer. We're gonna be making baked macaroni and cheese, and that starts with choosing the right pasta. I'm using brie. This guy eats grains for every meal. I can't even imagine 
a better government slave than him. <laughs> they must all be just applauding like, yeah, you're about to die, man. <laughs> yeah, protein plus pasta. If you can't find this, a chickpea pasta is also high in protein and it'll work too. We need 224. Fat free cheddar. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Unsweet almond milk. Fat free Greek yogurt. Why unsweet though? You eat sugar literally all day long. Whatever. Real bacon pieces. Hmm. The only good thing, I guess. Grams, we want to boil it. I've already done that to save time. Also, by the way, garlic and onion powder are insanely toxic. <laughs> but when you make it the anabolic way, we cut the calories, get the protein in, and still eat good. That's why this is the best diet on the planet. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for the support. Email me. Hit the email in my description box. This guy is absolutely delusional. Check this out. We got this massive mac and cheese bake, right? Now, this is how I do all my diets, even when I'm cutting. But essentially, I like my largest meal to be the one I eat at night. I have this habit. Me and my girl, we get on the couch, we watch an episode of a show or whatever we're into at that point in time. And I want to be able to eat for quite a long time, right? So my final meals are always pretty massive. And this one is... I make these videos because uh, I'm trying to teach people what's healthy in general for your life. Of course, this will work. Yeah, you can bulk, then cut, bulk, cut, and then you die in your 40s. Yeah, fun life. Uh, <laughs> if that's what you want to do, sure. But I'm here to tell you that this is horrible in general. And he's saying that that's the best diet there is. In general, it's insanely unhealthy. It really doesn't get any worse than this. I really can't stress it enough. There's no different, man. This massive plate of mac and cheese. You can see we put those breadcrumbs in at about 10 minutes left in the cook. And overall, this turned out magical. The middle is gooey. We can pull it out. You can literally see the melted cheese on that. Look at that. Oh no, a little mess. It's also so funny that he's using all of these fat-free products, such as a fat-free cheese and yogurt, which means that he actually wants to eat uh, fat, of course, but he's really holding himself back and uh, makes these huge meals filled full of carbs when his body is, of course, really begging for fat because without fat cholesterol, you're not gonna be able to make any hormones. Let's see when you're filming. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Mm, 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 mm. Now, since we're bulking, we're gonna eat this entire thing. Our totals for the entire day after eating all these meals are 3,796 calories with 88 grams of fat, 345 grams of- This is incredibly wrong. Uh, there's no way that there's so much uh, protein simply because of the biological value of the foods that he's eating. Really, just look it up. It's so simple. Carbs, yes, uh, he definitely got a lot of carbs. And the uh, fat? No, because he wasn't eating a lot of animal fat that can be counted as fat. There was a lot of uh, vegetable oil and garbage in between there, which is not that fat, that's just oil. So as much as this isn't a blanket diet that'll work for everybody out there, if you have about my stats, you're around 5 foot 10, weigh about 185, 190 pounds, and you're working out at least 5 days a week, then I think this is a great place for 5 days a week? Jesus Christ. For you. If you need more <laughs> calories, add in another protein bar. If you need less, cut out the protein bar. It is really that simple. When the food tastes this good, like I always preach, it doesn't even feel like a diet. Mm. You specifically need the day based on your height, weight, age, gender, workout, activity levels, all that stuff. You take that number and then you just eat recipes out of this book. You're going to see results no matter what. So if that sounds good to you, hit that link in my description box. I promise if you use it, it'll be one of the best decisions you've ever made. You're definitely going to be seeing a lot of aging results. That's 100% guaranteed. If you don't want to do that, meal plans and online coaching available at RemingtonJamesFitness.com. I'm an ISSA certified personal trainer. I can make you a meal plan. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. Woo. We gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute joke. He's so hyper pumped full of sugar the whole day. His nerves are definitely damaged. And all that he talked about were the macronutrients, the calories that he's getting in. That's it. And it was mostly based on grains, which is the worst thing you could possibly eat as a human being. It's an anti-health diet that he's on. And he promotes this because it's anabolic, which literally just means that it ages you. That's all that it means. It's a growing, aging diet that he's on, and he doesn't even realize it. And he promotes this to other people as if that's what they should be on. Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah, for other people, because you're incredibly insecure. And that goes for all bodybuilders. They're just a joke of the surf. That's it. And um, of course, he doesn't mention micronutrients because... He didn't get basically any micronutrients. I don't even know if I've seen such a diet before. Where were the micronutrients? There were no vitamins and uh, the few minerals that would be in this garbage, you would not even absorb because of all the anti-nutrients which bind to the minerals. <laughs> Thanks for watching.